Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video you will find out how to get new Yorgos weapon in the upcoming patch. But before I start explaining I want you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next videos. And if you want to support me as a content creator and gain access to various perks, you can become a channel member. For more details check the link in description. Now let's get back to our topic. Yorgos weapons will be added in the next update. There are several reasons why you should be excited. First of all, these new weapons don't have additional PvP or PvE stats, which means they can be used for any kind of endgame content. When you enchant such weapon, your attack, magical and physical defense will be increased. There are no changes to enchanted mechanics, Yorgos weapons can be enchanted to plus 15 using PvE enchantment stones. As you can see from the table, there are three versions of Ultimate Yorgos Weapon with different stats. I'll explain the purpose of this a bit later. The second reason to have this weapon is because any class can benefit from it. For melee classes, Yorgos Weapons are extendable. Meanwhile, ranged classes receive a strong passive skill. Let's take a closer look. Every time you attack the target, there is a 5% chance to create energetic field on the ground that works for you and your group members. When you step into it, you will receive a buff called Yorgos Masterpiece. This buff is quite interesting because it consists of two levels. The first level lasts 4 seconds, it increases additional PvP and PV attack by 500, accuracy and magical accuracy by 1000. After that, when the first level buff expires, the second level of Yorgos Masterpiece pops. For another 4 seconds, it boosts additional PvP and PV attack by 1000, accuracy and magical accuracy by 1500. So the overall duration of this buff is 8 seconds and it's very OP. Now let me explain how to get Yorgos weapon. There are three steps. Step number one is to obtain half-finished weapon. Step number two is to upgrade half-finished weapon into legendary weapon. And step number three is to upgrade legendary weapon into ultimate. So let's start from the beginning. Half-finished weapon drops from epic world bosses in Gelkmaras, Ingison, Lakrum and Dumaha. Also you can get it from some instances. Detailed information can be seen in your screen. Half-finished weapon is tradable via broker and it will cost a lot of kina at the very beginning of the patch. So in order to avoid ninjas, I advise to do the instances with your pre-made or with other people that you know. After obtaining half-finished weapon, you can upgrade it into legendary Yorgos weapon. Come to Sugar NPC in Gelkmaras or Ingerson and you will see the required items. Your half-finished weapon has to be enchanted to plus 10. On top of that, you will need 42 insignias of experience and 25 pieces of artisan essence. The main way of getting insignia of experience is by extracting your XP. Purchase Combat Extractor and click it when you fill at least half of your XP bar. Alternatively, you can obtain Insignia of Experience from Lumiel's Transmorph and Lookbook Daily. Combat Extractor can be received as a reward from Lumiel's Transmorph and for completing Garrison Weeklies in Gelkmaras and Ingison. With a certain probability, it may also drop from the final boss in Lower Uda's Temple and from Reward Chest in Tower of Challenge Lower Level. The other material, which is Artisan Essence, can be acquired by extracting Half-Finished and Legendary Yorgos weapons. You get around 5 pieces of Essence from Half-Finished weapon and approximately 20 pieces from Legendary one. You probably wonder why in the world do you have to extract upgraded guns? Well, the answer is simple. It's all because of RNG. Because when you upgrade Half-Finished weapon, you randomly receive one of three possible versions of Legendary Yorgos weapon. Each version goes with different stats. For example, you wanted some additional crit strike, but you got physical attack instead. You can extract such legendary weapon and use the received artisan essence for your next try. Things are more complicated regarding the random stats for ranged weapons. Because if you want to have the passive skill in the end, you need to obtain legendary weapon with specific stats. Details can be seen in your screen. Ok, so let's imagine you got the proper legendary Yorgos weapon. Now you can upgrade it into final ultimate version. You will need 56 insignias of experience and 93 pieces of artisan essence. 
Also, your legendary weapon has to be plus 15. At this point there is one more RNG wall. The output has two possible items. You may receive either ultimate Yorgos weapon or a chest containing plus 10 legendary weapon. I don't want to upset anyone, but the exact odds of getting ultimate Yorgos weapon are 15 percentage. You heard me right, 15, not 50. So if you decide to get this weapon, be ready to spend a lot of time and Kina trying to achieve this goal. Now let's run a small test. I'll try to upgrade 20 legendary polearms and we'll see how many of them will succeed. And that's basically everything I wanted to show you today. If you still have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section. I put a lot of work into gathering and checking all the info, so make sure you don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. Also feel free to become a channel member. Thanks for watching and see you soon.